Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller and today I'm bringing you part one of the huge haul I got from the charity sale. Now, this was actually last week when I went. I just finally got the first part, the shopping, the shopping portion um, edited and put up yesterday. So now I am filming the haul. So first part, I'm going to try to just do the hard goods and the second video will be the clothes and the massive amount of shoes I bought. So if you are a shoe lover, it is a must watch. So I am going to show you though, uh, the little sale I went to in the beginning before the, before the boutique sale, I did buy a pair of shoes there. So I'm going to show you those. That's going to be separate. So we're going to start with that sale. At that sale, I spent $6 and I ended up getting these. These are Rockport with the Adiprene by Adidas. These are just like a men's casual pair of shoes, sneakers, whatever. They're very, very good condition. So that was a good find. I picked up this women's sweater it's uh cropped and barrow so that is from kohl's but it's very patriotic that'll be good for probably labor you don't really want to wear a sweater on memorial day and that's already passed anyhow and fourth of july is probably going to be kind of hot but in the fall it might be getting a little chilly and i have the cardigan i have the cardigan that that woman is going to need when she's standing out there at her Labor Day Parade. Picked up this. It's a vintage strawberry shortcake. It's not dated. No. Uh, it might not even be vintage. Who knows? Strawberry shortcake's kind of vintage, but this t-shirt is not like single stitch or anything. So anyway, it says sweet girl strawberry shortcake on it. And then I got a massive amount of vacuum bags for the Eureka Victory True HEPA Style AA. I literally got like so many vacuum bags that I don't even know if I'm going to be able to hold them all up here. I'm going to try. So what I'm going to do with these, like look at this pile. Look at this pile of vacuum bags. What I'm going to do with these is lot them together and sell them that way. And lastly, from that sale, I picked up all of these little tiny cross stitch kits. So these are also going to be lotted together and sold like that. So that is what I got at the first sale for $6. So not that bad. All right. Now, moving on to the boutique at the rink. That is what it is called. So Again, uh, if you haven't watched the first video, it was lots of fun, <laughs> lots of fun doing the shopping. Uh, I went on half off day. I checked out three separate times because I just kept buying so much stuff that I didn't have enough room in my bags and in my little cart. So I checked out three separate times and I believe I spent $330 total. I could be wrong. Like I said, this was last week and I already entered all this stuff into the bookkeeping program that I use. And I've gone to another sale since then and every, I don't know, so much lately. And I've just been super busy. I had one daughter graduate eighth grade last week and then I have another graduation coming up tomorrow for my daughter who is a senior so just so much stuff going on i'm like a little i'm like a little out of it but hopefully things will settle down soon and i'll be able to get some more of this stuff listed because i've been buying a lot and i i've been saying that but things have just been so hectic it's just been really hard to list okay anyway let's get into this haul here we go we have some christmas balls i really love these i really love these like hand decorated. I thought they were really pretty. These ended up being a dollar fifty. 
So, I may not remember all the prices, but if the item is marked, I will be able to tell. I will be able to tell you. Which I believe most of these really are, honestly. Okay, so then we got some cross stitch kits. These are stuck together. These, this one's marked two, so it was a dollar. This is a Dimensions Snowman Christmas. Then we have another Dimensions. It was also a dollar. I like selling cross stitch. Some does better than others. These are vintage. The, this is cute. This is a cruel kit, Erica Wilson, which is a good name. So I will have to look this one up. I have a lot of kits now to get listed. I bought some uh, at Belvedere last weekend. Last weekend. <laughs> that came out weird. <laughs> Anyway, all right, no, no shortage on the weirdness here on my channel. All right, so $2, so this was a dollar. Erica Wilson, save for a rainy day. It's this cute little mouse. All right, then we have a needlepoint kit, also a dollar, naughty kitten. Thought that was kind of cute. I do try to look at the subject matter when I, when I pick these up. This is just like a little palm tree. That was a dollar. This one is a windmill. This is also, looks very vintage. This is a cruel kit. This was a dollar, so that ended up being 50 cents. And then, this is a pair of pillowcases. I'm not sure which pair though, because it shows, oh, 802B. 802B. So maybe that's the kitten. It might be the kitten. I'll have to really check that out a little bit more, but this was a dollar after the, the half off. Then I picked up, uh, these are little bear family felt ornaments. They ended up being a dollar as well. And then we have, this is Jan Lynn, let's see, Birds of a Feather. That's kind of cute. Ended up being a dollar. This is a little duck. That ended up being a dollar. Ooh, I got a lot of these kits, didn't I? This one is called Bittersweet. This is just Needlecraft. That was a dollar. And then we have, I think this might be the last kit. This one was a dollar as well after the discount. This is a Christmas sampler. That looks pretty cool. I think that would look really nice once it's put together. And then I got, I got these. These ended up being $2.50 after the discount. Now, to me, they look like the uh, heirloom collectible ornaments, and I don't see a marking, but they look like Charles, Charles Wysocki, Wysocki, however you pronounce his name, but that's what it looks like to me. So I am going to look these up, but I am pretty sure that's what it is. So I think that that set should sell well. They're in very good condition. They just don't have the lid or the paperwork, but they're in the little bag here. And then I got this. If you if you watched the video, you saw me pick this up. This is Lynn Chase Monkey Garden. And also this, I, I picked this up in the video as well. This is a Briard or Briard kind of tray, really cool pineapples, lemons. This is probably a bar tray. You know, put your your stuff that you would need for your, your cocktails, lay the fruit out here so you could just grab it, put it in the drink. I love, I love his stuff. Mid-century barware is my jam. So are rubber stamps apparently, because I keep picking these up. Uh, these, let's see, these, oh, that, that tray was $2. Uh, these were, ended up being a dollar for the bag. And there are some cool ones in here. Some PSX, which usually does pretty well. Then we have some Winnie the Pooh. Uh, just kind of a variety, but some of them are PSX, which PSX stamps sell the best for me, it seems. So when I can find them, I grab them. 
then this was this is a loan guy here this is stampin up but this is like a sailboat which i thought was pretty good especially in the summer people are gonna want to well the people who still craft and scrapbook are probably going to want to document their summer trips and a sailboat is a good one to have and then we have a little easter bunny here so he was 50 cents the sailboat was 50 cents i'm looking in this bag i think all the rest of this stuff is shoes so give me one minute to go grab the rest of the hard goods okay so just lugged the rest of the hard goods in here and also this purse i showed this in the video as well when i picked this up this is a vera bradley it looks to be gently used it does have a little pen mark in the interior that i noticed just now actually but i thought it was really cute uh, i have so much vera bradley now to list and i actually have quite a few regular purses as well sometimes i hate photographing them so I actually just purchased a purse stand or rack display type thing. I'll insert a photo here real quick. And I just purchased that from Amazon. So I'm excited to try that out. And hopefully I will like photographing purses a little bit more and I will get them photographed and listed and out of my house. So I will link that down below. There was actually a coupon for it when I bought it two days ago like I said it just came in the mail today uh, but there was a coupon so it ended up being like $15 so yeah purse I don't know the pattern I am gonna have to look that up all right so then I picked up two panels it's Waverly home classics French door panel and this is La Petite firm it's probably not firm for me it's like, this is it right here. Spice French door panel. It's actually cute if you have a door like that. So anyway, two panels ended up being $4. I'm a big fan of Waverly items to sell. So I picked this up in the video. I don't know how this is gonna do, but it's Disney and it's false graph and you know, false graph is definitely hit or miss, but with the Mickey and Co stuff, I think I just have a feeling this is going to be good. Haven't looked it up. Paid $4 for it. And then inside I have these little glass animals that I also picked up in the video. I picked up this really cool monkey, my little pig that I bought over in Belvedere and lost. If you watch that video, I don't know what happened to it. That would have fit in really, really well with these animals. So then I have all the little penguins, all the little penguins, little penguin family. So cute. They ended up being $2 after the discount and the monkey was not priced. She gave him to me for a dollar. I'm gonna try to wrap all of these back up. Miraculously, they have really like pointy faces noses and they did not break they didn't break okay Ooh. so i'm just like unwrapping this stuff for the first time let's see here the sesame street the count i picked that mug up i thought that was really cool dated 1977 the muppets and then the Mickey, Disney Mickey mug. And let's see, where is the other? This should be the other, Sesame Street. There you go. That's the other one. Have not looked these up yet. This stuff has been sitting in my garage for a week. So I've been super busy. And everything else all right so then I got these wine glasses with the clay the applied clay flowers thought they were really cute really like these and then I did buy the Tiffany & Co 
Tiffany Fiddleheads. That is made by Tiffany & Co. If that's focusing, I don't know. Ooh, Jesus. Uh, this... This is dirty, but it needs to be cleaned up. But, you know, it's the bowl, the plate, and the mug. And then this is the other Lynn Chase African Inspirations. This is like a salad plate that I picked up. I wish I could have found more of those. I'm sure they would have done a lot better as a set. I'm not really sure how these particular patterns are going to do on their own. But I will find out. Ooh, what was that? Oh, the cats. I picked up the cats. Now, it's weird because they have chains in front of them so does anyone know what these may have gone to they're hollow they're not in the best condition i mean this one's got a little tiny like hairline through it i just thought they were really cute but yeah i can't figure out why they would have the chain like right there so if you know let me know all right, this, I picked this up. It's like a really ugly chicken. This is a really ugly chicken. And some pigs, which are kind of cute. Speaking of pigs, my neighbor actually just got a pig. It's a little tiny, I guess it would be a pot belly pig, but it's really, really tiny. It's four weeks old and they're still bottle feeding it. And it's really, really cute and really, really tiny. I actually pet it today. So anyway, this is signed, it looks like Lowell something or other. I don't know, and that's not focusing, is it? I don't really know. There we go, maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna look that up. Wrap those back up. I bought a, hmm, that's, I'll show you that in a minute, cause it's wedged in there. So I did pick up this set. Uh, this one ended up being 250. This is the ice cream bowls and real nice set, Harlequin ice cream bowl. I have not looked this pattern up, but for the price, I mean, at 250, I have to make a profit on these. These are new in the box and they're designed by Susan Winget, I believe, and she is pretty popular. Uh, so then I have the dessert plates. These ended up being three. And then I have the dinner plates. These ended up being three as well. They're all boxed. And then I picked, there we go. I picked this towel up, ended up paying $2 for it. It's like a beach towel. So I will keep this and use this for the beach or just a shower towel or something, I guess. I, I, I used it to pad my items is what I bought it for. So they wouldn't break, so they wouldn't bang against each other. I picked this up. This ended up being $5. And I just thought it was really cool. It's RHD SB 2010, and it's marked limited edition, 241 out of 750, Robert Harrop Designs Limited, Wallace and Feathers McGraw, the wrong trousers, Wallace and Gromit. No, I, I could just show you that instead of writing the whole thing. But anyway, I can't tell if that's focusing or not. I just thought this was kind of neat. So I decided to pick it up. I don't really ever follow Wallace and Gromit. I know nothing about them, but I decided to pick this up. I still haven't looked this up either, so I'm hoping that this is like a good find. All right, so then I picked up this set of Pottery Barn plate. Nope, not Pottery Barn, Williams Sonoma. These are basically like, they'd be good for like cheese plates to go with wine. There's all these different wines. These ended up, these ended up being $4 and I love Williams Sonoma stuff. I always pick it up when I can find it, as far as like the dinnerware and stuff like that, it always sells really well for me. So I do like, I do like picking that up. That I believe wraps it up for the hard goods. Tomorrow I have the shoes and the clothes. 
and it's a big one uh, as far as the shoes go I think I bought close to 50 pair of shoes so excited and I got them at great great prices so very excited to show you guys and then I can get those processed uh, I did buy I did end up I did end up buying some clothes not a whole lot even though they had such a massive amount but I was there for over three hours and I just did not I had to come home and do my shipping and everything else I just didn't have any more time I didn't have any more room or free bags or anything so I did get a small amount of clothing but stop back tomorrow for all of that thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment let me know what you thought of this haul subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time i upload and that way you'll get a notification when i upload part two of this haul tomorrow all right until next time bye